Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be dealing with how to safely back up and transfer our WhatsApp chat history from our phone to our new one. There are in fact several options to do that. And yes, this also means you can move your chat history from an Android device to iOS and of course vice versa. Star of today's show is the Dr. Phone software by the developer Wondershare. To be exact, this digital product is going by the name of Dr. Phone WhatsApp Transfer, but it's also capable of transferring chat histories of other apps too, such as Line, Viber, Kick, and WeChat. Today we'll focus on WhatsApp though. We have the following options to transfer our chat history from phone A to phone B. Number one, backup and restore chat history with Google Drive. Number two, local manual backup. And number three, automated thanks to aiding software such as Dr. Phone WhatsApp Transfer, for instance. Now, before we move on, as always, I'd like to remain fully transparent towards you and therefore want to point out that this video is being sponsored by Dr. Phone, or rather, Wondershare. This means I'm getting paid to produce this video and I'll invest it all into my channel. Many will ask themselves the following question. How easy and fast is it actually to back up and transfer one's chat history? The answer, very fast, no matter what method we decide to go for, but just a heads up, not each and every method out there works when trying to transfer between Android and iOS devices. But don't worry, in the near future, WhatsApp apparently will even allow its users to do that. Still, some might still be asking, whether or not you can carry your chat history with you when changing phone numbers. The answer is yes, you can change and replace your old phone number and register a new one within WhatsApp. Carrying over all the chat history from one phone to another, however, is not possible. That's something WhatsApp doesn't allow yet at the time of this video. Well, unless you let WhatsApp know about your new phone number and change it within the app. But let's get to the point. Option number one, transfer with Google Drive. Within WhatsApp, you can link your phone number to your Google account and therefore easily create backups by making use of Google Drive. This is really easy to do and seamless. I don't even need to show you how it's done. Should that for whatever reason fail or you simply don't want to hand over your data to Google, encryption or not, you could go with the next method, restoring your chat history from a local backup but you will require some knowledge on the Android and iOS file directories. For many, not really a clean way of getting the task done, which is why I'll skip that step today and instead get straight to today's sponsor, Dr. Phone WhatsApp Transfer. You can try the software for free, but just a heads up, the trial version only allows us to preview backup content and only create backups of chat histories of popular apps such as WhatsApp, Kick, Line, Viber and WeChat. If you wish to go through with such transfers more frequently, you'll probably have to use a licensed version. Whether or not it's worth the cost for you, that's entirely up to you. So let's get started. Step one is to download the software. Following that, open the downloaded file, choose your preferred language and click on install. Only now the software will truly start its download and install. Once that's done, click on start now. Here we are being presented the whole Dr. Phone package. There really are a bunch of things we can do with it, but I will go straight for the WhatsApp transfer. On the left, there are a bunch of different chat services you can choose from. Since I want my WhatsApp messages transferred onto my other phone, I'll choose that option. Then we see slots for two phones here, the source and destination or target phone. The target phone being the one you want to transfer your chat history to. Simply connect your source phone with your PC via the USB cable. The phone brand is immediately detected. In my case, Xiaomi, however, not a Redmi. Next up, we need to do some setting up on the phone itself. We do get some nice and clear instructions with screenshots to make things easier. You basically have to unlock the developer options, which is slightly different with each phone, but similar in its core. The goal is to enable USB debugging as well as to allow installations via USB. Just in case you end up getting a warning about the app being built for older Android versions, ignore it and simply hit OK. Following that, our source phone should successfully be connected with the Dr. Phone software on the PC. Now connect your second phone, your target phone. 
in my case, by the brand HTC as correctly detected. Once again, some screenshots and easy steps to follow in order to unlock the developer options. Needless to say, you'll have to enable USB debugging and allow USB installations on that second phone too. Now both phones are successfully connected with this software. Next, click on Transfer. The trial version doesn't let us continue today's journey though. To get past that, we need a license, which I happen to have for this video. You simply log in. Now go ahead and click on Transfer once more. You will be prompted with a warning, letting you know that all your existing WhatsApp content on your target phone will be wiped out. So if you happen to need that content, you're given the option to back it up first, which I don't need to do today. Alright, now we'll have to follow a few more steps. On this source phone, navigate into the WhatsApp settings, chats, chat backup, and set your Google Drive backup to never. Then simply hit the green backup button to create a local backup, which the Dr. Phone software will have access to. Back on the PC, click on next. The transfer in itself only takes a few seconds in my case. Now we are being prompted to reinstall WhatsApp on our target phone. Our next step, therefore, is to disconnect both phones from the PC and turn both phones off. We then need to put the SIM card of our source phone into the SIM card slot of our target destination phone. Once your target phone is turned on again, re-download and install WhatsApp. But please watch out, it's crucial to not open WhatsApp at this stage. Before doing so, go into your phone's app settings and give the WhatsApp app all the permissions, especially to the phone's storage. Only once you've done that, open WhatsApp. At the time of this video, I discovered WhatsApp would not detect any local backups on your phone's internal storage if you don't give the app full permissions beforehand. Of course, you'll have to go through all the setup process of WhatsApp, including phone number verification and so on. Right after that, the app successfully detects the local backup Dr. Phone created for us. Simply click on Restore. The Quark profile picture is already being displayed. Only the name needs to be re-entered. Oh, and of course, you'll have to select your preferred Google Drive backup settings. At this stage, it doesn't matter what you choose. And voila, all my chats have been fully restored. In my case, WhatsApp is currently only displaying phone numbers in my chats, since I haven't added those people to this phone's local contacts yet. So I can therefore confirm the Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer software does indeed work flawlessly, a job well done. It's certainly worth something, especially if you aren't given the option to back up via Google Drive between Android and iOS phones, for instance. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and for your immense support.